Okay, just a quick update on the bike. There is my speedometer. I just uh, the original one with the original one. I think it looks better. Um, and it works because I just uh, rode about half a mile. And uh, so I had to get a new speedo drive down there. <coughs> or a new old one anyway. So next is the uh, new back tire. Sitting over there, probably do that a little later on uh, tonight, or maybe a little later. Do you see that right there? After I painted my tank, that stupid thing started leaking. Uh, so all the brake fluid ran down underneath, right there, on the frame rail. And then as I rode, you can see where it started to collect on the tank and all the paint came off. So then on top of that I dropped the tank. You can see one scratch there and maybe the other one there. You can see it bonked it pretty good. At any rate, that's a problem I gotta fix. I got the boat tail painted. This is just temporary. I had to put the back fender back on because the boat tail and that tail light from uh, Dime Cycle, Dime City Cycle, isn't fitting well. So I've decided um, that I'm not going to use that. My brother just got an RD350. He wants a tail light. He may end up using that one. If not, I'm going to put it on eBay or Craigslist, whatever. Sell it. And then this guy right here, my brother definitely wants for his RD. So I'm going to sell him this. And here is the original tail light. And I'm thinking I can make a bracket for that guy that'll fill up the space really well underneath the boat tail and uh, make a license plate bracket along with that. And uh, I think it'll look really good. Um, that way I can go fenderless, keep the stock tail light, <coughs> which is bigger. And uh, you know what, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and mention this too in my video. So I'm riding, uh, I rode it to work on a couple Fridays ago, and I um, realized quickly that people do not know what hand signals are anymore. Um, so I've decided to go ahead and find some of those small blinkers. I found some on eBay. I'm going to go ahead and put those on there. I'm not sure how I'm going to mount the front. I guess I could use some of these existing holes to mount it or put it where the uh, that ugly bolt is on the headlamp because that is just temporary. I could put them there and uh, clamp the headlamp on that way. And I've obviously got some good spots here in the back for tail lights and just come up with a washer of some sort to uh, make that work. So anyways, that's uh, just a quick update on the bike, and um, I'll uh, post some more when I get some more. Oh, yeah, so here's the idea with the paint. So it's not going to remain flat black uh, for the time being. I've got a friend who does pinstriping for the Rat Rod guys and the um, Customs. So I'm going to get a red pinstripe along the bottom, pretty thick, maybe at least a finger width thick or possibly two narrowing down to one so it gets bigger, fatter, and then comes back and gets narrower again. Kind of like Kawasaki used to do anyway. And then um, along here or the other way, I don't know. I think it may look better this way. And then on the boat tail, just trace along that uh, lip and go back around. And there was one, if you remember from my other video, you'll see it on my web, on my page, there was an existing um, pinstripe there, filled that all off of course, and painted it, but um, I'm thinking that red will look good, and then later on, when I pull everything apart and go through it again, just before I sell it, um, paint the frame red, I know that's been done a lot, I really don't care, I like it, so I think I'm going to do that. Mac exhaust. Max exhaust is uh, on the way.
So that'll be another new feature. And by the way, if you're wondering about those boxes, um, yeah, anybody want some free boxes? I got to go to the dump. Um, anyways, that's it. So talk to you later. Bye.